Ephesians 4, uh, 11 talks about the fivefold ministry. And so like those are, he gave, and he, and he gave, and he, Jesus gave the apostle, some of us to be the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and the teachers, the shepherds there is the pastors. And so it's, it's like, a, I think the similar thing, what you're saying, it's a particular gifting that you have to help tend the life, the spiritual life of, of people and relationships around you. And this is why um, you'll see it later in scripture. So like Titus one, first uh, Timothy three, there's this long list of, of things that a pastor should do particularly. And it's really interestingly around their family. So the idea being you, you as a pastor, not because um, it's like a prerequisite, it's if you have a natural inclination to help feed and cultivate the spiritual life of people who are close to you, in the ancient Near East culture, that was your family. So if you are naturally doing that already, that means that you probably were gifted with the the pastoral gifting. You were trying to steward and shepherd um, the spiritual lives of those closest for you. So then, so then Paul in the book of Titus and in First Timothy then says, "Hey, look for the people in your communities that do this with their families. They should be your pastors." So I think that sometimes, like uh, when you read, like some of these that they become job descriptions, right? Yeah. Right. Pastors like, or job requirements. Oh, they yeah. need to do this, 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 and this. It's like, no, like there is a natural gifting that is bestowed upon you to shepherd the, the, the life of those closest to you. And that's how we do. So that is what a pastor's supposed to be. Now, what is how a celebrity pastor then functions, <clears throat> at least in our current context is what happens when there becomes less and less sacraments to administer. Mm. You should define sacraments. Oh, for yes. People. Yeah. So sacraments being the kind of um, communal and community practices of local churches that um, you you do with physical people. Oops. I'm just oh, not going to think. You do with physical people in person at a worship gathering at some point, whether that's in a house community or a, a more traditional Sunday gathering. Communion. Um, opening the, the word, like there's a lot of them depending on your tradition. So that's what I mean. So, so all of a sudden those start getting taken away in modern evangelicalism um, and in and, and the modern West. And then all of a sudden, like what's a pastor to do? They're supposed to primarily teach. They get up there and they help dispense God's wisdom um, that we can then all, we can all like consume, think about. So then all of a sudden, when it's not about cultivating the local spiritual life or the primary job of a pastor isn't about cultivating the local spiritual life and it's about teaching, then in a modern Western context that literally just can attach and has been preformed um, to look to heroes, look to people who have all the answers um, to help sift through the multifaceted complex world that we live in, there are people that are going to be really, really naturally talented at that. Mm -hmm. Like the, the apostle Paul says that he calls them teachers. It's another gifting. And so once they begin to start doing that, then all of a sudden leveraging uses of technology and things like that, this is a very sterile way to talk about celebrity pastors, <laughs> but you know, it's, but all of a sudden then leveraging new forms of technology, the people that are excellent at those things, better than local, like just better gift sets to do those things, all of a sudden can, can have more prominence on them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you can stay tuned for all of our content.